number one requirement for anyone to enjoy the power of his resurrection is revelation. Say with me, revelation. Come on, say it louder, revelation. Yes, our eyes must be open to see the reality of what Jesus has brought us into in redemption. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 and verse 6, look at what the Bible tells us there. It says, and when we were dead in, in sins, he had quickened us together with Christ, for by grace he has saved. And verse 6, and he has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So our redemption was a repositioning. And it was a repositioning into a realm of empowerment. In Ephesians chapter 1, we see that depicted to us from verse 18 down to verse 21. Let's look at it. He said, and the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may be able to know what is the hope of his glory, a calling, and what is the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints. And look at verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought when he raised Christ from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Where is that? Verse 21. Far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Somebody say Revelation. There is a need to see it. There is a need to see it. It is one thing to have power provided is another thing to have revelation of the power that is available. If you don't know what you have, you will be tormented by the enemy. There is a need for revelation. God's servant has shared, he said that years ago he was reading a book, The Apostle of Faith, 1979, by the, written about the man of God, Smith Wigglesworth. And he said he saw in that, in that book how that Smith Wigglesworth was in his house one day and he came out because he heard some noises in the living room. And he got there and saw an image sitting on his chair, rocking chair, and was rocking back and forth. Not that he was sleeping, not that he was dreaming. He opened his two eyes and saw a feature that is not a human being sitting down on his chair, rocking back and forth. I know that many people, if they saw that, will leave the house for that thing. They will, you say you have paid rent, it doesn't matter. They will leave it for that creature. But here comes Smith, Smith Wigglesworth. He saw it and he hissed and turned back and said, I didn't even know it is you, the devil. And went back to his bed and continued sleeping. That is, you are not, you are not an entity to be reckoned with. Is somebody getting what God is saying? You are not an entity. It's like somebody woke up and saw sugar ant and is disturbed by it. He opens his eyes. Ah, ah, sugar ant, you are the one. My friend, don't disturb my sleep. And continue sleeping. He saw the devil as powerless as a sugar ant. He said when he saw that picture, something came alive. And he discovered, this is what it means to be seated with Christ in heavenly places. Where you are far above. You can't stand and be having an argument with an ant. The distance between the two of you is too far. Somebody say revelation. Is somebody getting what God is saying? That is what happens when light strikes. You recognize that I am far above principalities and powers. There is nothing that is named that is, not a, that is not below my authority. Now look at this very carefully. In that book of Ephesians chapter 1, look at verse 21 and 22 very closely. Look at it. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world that is to come. That is even the things Satan wants to invent. They are under our authority. It says, and he has put all things 
under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to what? The church. Who is the church? You and me. Say with me, I am empowered in Christ. So it, if you have revelation of this, it becomes abnormal for the devil to show himself like a masquerade in your dream and you are be, your heart is beating when you wake up in the morning. He said, no, I didn't even know. Satan is you. Uh -uh. Sugar ant like you. You are playing around here. You know, if an ant annoys you, it's at your mercy. Throw us. You look at it, you say, uh -uh. what is wrong with you? You step it. What did he say? He has put them under our feet. So it's at your mercy. Romans chapter 16 and verse 20. Look at this. He said, the God of peace shall do what? Bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Say with me, Revelation. So our access to the power of resurrection starts by revelation. Until you and I have revelation of the reality of the provision of this power, it cannot become a reality. So it begins with revelation. If you and I are going to see this power, this exceeding power that is made available to you and I in redemption, then you and I must have revelation. After God's servant had that encounter, he said he went to a place where he was to minister. He was ministering um, on behalf of somebody else who was not present. And he said when he got there, it was a school. He told them, how many of you here are witches? And they stood up. He said, no, sit down. I'm not talking about they accuse you of witchcraft or you ate in your dream. I'm talking about you are practicing as a witch, not accusation. You are a practitioner of witchcraft. Stand up. And they stood up. Little, little children practicing witchcraft. And he called one of them and said, come here. What do you do with the devil? He said, whenever we want to take blood, we go on the highway and we cause vehicles to somersault and we take the blood of the victim. Now listen. He said, now how about when people like us are coming? He said, now when we sense a higher power, we clear off the highway. Who tell you, say, Satan, no get sense. He said, when I see a higher power, I clear off the highway. You see, this power is the nuclear power of the kingdom. Everybody is careful with nuclear power. Is that true? If they tell you there is a bomb inside this room, and they point to that room. It is wise not to be inside the room. Is that true? Just because of what is inside the room, everybody begins to respect the room. They begin to avoid the room. They begin to keep distance from the room because of what is inside the room. Now, if you have resurrection power inside you, Satan begins to respect you. He start giving distance to you. He start keep keeping far away from you. Why? Because he can sense a higher power from today by revelation I see that higher power being made manifest in your life if you believe it say the loudest amen I said I see that higher power being made manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ so the first key is revelation. But the second key is service. Everyone who commits themselves to serving God is a candidate for the power of God. As you get committed to serving God, you become a candidate to manifest the power of God. Jesus said to his disciples, go into all the world, preach the gospel, and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name, in my name. In my name. As you go serving me, I'm preaching the gospel. He said, in my name, I will begin to make things happen on your behalf. So you want to see the power of God at work, the supernatural manifested in your life and my life. Then you and I must position ourselves 
to serve him. Shout hallelujah. We must position ourselves to serve him. All right. That was a very powerful video by Pastor David Oyelepo Jr. You're welcome to the commentary session of this video where we make powerful analysis about what the preacher was saying. Um, sincerely for me, I would say that um, the, the devil is lower than a sugar ant. Now, if you are very conversant with the word sugar ant, it simply means that sugar ant is that the kind of ant that um, does not know how to bite, doesn't know how to sting, it doesn't know how to attack, it doesn't know how to um, um, attack people. Not like the black ant that um, um, is like a soldier or the soldier ant that um, attacks when he is being um, under attack. So what am I saying this today? That the devil is as low as a sugar ant. Just as the way he explained it, don't allow anyone make you feel like you are low. And I love that scriptural explanation he made. He said we are far above principalities and powers, rulers of darkness in high places. So it's very important to understand that we are far above these guys. We are far above them. Not just because we intended to be far above them, but through redemption, God has made us far above these people. For somebody today that as you grip on God's word, may you be far above principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. I would love you to take your time and watch this video. Again, this video is very rich for your spiritual insight. It's very rich for your um, for your day-to-day -day living because a lot of believers feel that they they are powerless and they can be tormented by the devil. But it's very important to know that the devil cannot torment you until you give him his place. So don't allow the devil torment you. Don't give him breathing space. Don't give him time. Don't give him access. Make sure you are grounded in the word of God. And it is the word of God you know that will make you free. It is the word of God that you know that will give you liberty. I pray for you today that as you set on God's word, your life will be in the same the name of Jesus. I'm sure you are blessed by this powerful video. This I would advise you, watch it again, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment so that you already can make it reach out to other persons and your life can always in Jesus' name. Remember life and have a great time.